um, we've all become more and more familiar with the concept that our follicular derived thyroid nodules are on a spectrum between classic BRAF driven classical papillary thyroid cancers and the RAS driven follicular thyroid cancers or follicular variant of papillary thyroid cancers. And this spectrum is something that I think we need to begin to use in our thought process because we're dealing here with spectrum disease. RAS driven tumors are often on an adenoma benign to carcinoma malignant sequence. And so it shouldn't be surprising that RAS driven tumors are often actually benign adenomas, but I would argue that those adenomas have malignant potential. So I think we're moving away from that binary construct where the purpose of molecular testing is to identify those patients who can, are benign and can safely be watched. But when a test is positive, stratifying that risk into the high risk mutations uh, that require a therapeutic total thyroidectomy, plus and minus neck dissection, uh, that we can make those decisions increasingly based on the genetic drivers of the disease. And then those uh, many uh, nodules that have low risk mutations where we're dealing likely with either pre-malignant or very early malignant disease where a therapeutic lobectomy is an appropriate way forward. And taking this approach, we've moved away from where we believed molecular markers were taking us five to seven years ago, which actually was in the direction of more aggressive surgery, now to this much more nuanced approach, 